I forgot to make my English accent. Hello, it's Mimi here and welcome to Geek Life Rule. <laughs> Today's tutorial is really exciting because it's a huge collab with three other amazing crafters. We all made a Harry Potter, excuse me, Harry Potter inspired creations and just look at how amazing all the other projects look. Jackie the Nerdy Crafter made a gorgeous Hogwarts Castle miniature environment. As usual, the details are amazing. Then Mael from Bittersweet Creation made a beautiful piece inspired by the four Marauders with details from each one of them. Finally, Manon from No Chance Creations made a super cute mini shelf with potions and potion books and a quill. Seriously guys, all these girls are super talented, so please go check out their tutorials and subscribe to their channel. For my tutorial, I decided to make miniature birdie bots boxes. I remember the first time I watched Harry Potter, I was really impressed with all the food in the movie and especially the candy trolley in the train. So this is why I decided to make miniature birdie bots boxes of beans. So have fun and here we go! Here are some of the materials you will need. Tacky glue, mud pudge, glaze and translucent liquid sculpey. A printout of the box template. The one I used is from Gwendolyn Walter on DeviantArt. A plastic sheet, yellow paint and some gold powder, a toothbrush, an exacto knife and a needle tool, and multiple clay colors to match the bean flavors. First, cut off the box template. You can cut out the top flaps since we won't be closing the box. Use your exacto knife to carefully cut out the little windows. I really recommend having adult supervision for this step. Then use a piece of cardboard to help you make all the necessary folds. Now cut some pieces of your plastic sheet. Make the plastic sheet a lot bigger than the actual window. This way it will be easier to glue it to the box. Apply your tacky glue and spread it around the window with your dotting tool. Now glue on your window. Mix yellow acrylic paint with some gold powder. Use this new paint to color the inside of the box. You might have to apply two or more coats. Once your paint is dry, add some tacky glue to the side panel and close your box. Then close the bottom of the box, adding glue to each panel. Push a little strip beneath the other panel so it stays closed. Add glue inside the box to secure everything in place. Now to make the beans, first mix every color with a lot of translucent clay. Then roll little snakes of each color. Cut little pieces of the clay. Roll it between your index and thumb. Then add a little round indent in the middle of the bean. I used a large knitting needle, but you can use any object that is round and has the right size. This step does take a while to make, but it's so fun to see the little beans accumulate and you can easily do this while you listen to a movie or some series. Continue making the beans until you have enough to fill your box. Then take some yellow clay, make a ball and roll one end with your finger. Dip your eye pin in TLS and stick it in your piece. Make sure it fits inside your box Then bake your beans in yellow shape for 30 minutes. Stick your cylinder in the middle of your box with some glue. Now for the beans, you can add some painted details, if you want, with a toothbrush. I added blue, green, yellow and red paint to the tutti frutti ones, dark greens to the burger or pear ones, and brown to the banana ones. Once the paint is dry, place your beans on aluminum foil and glaze them. You can start filling your box with some baked polymer clay pieces so you don't need as much beans. Mix your beans with some mud pudge so they will stick to each other. Continue filling your box until you cover the top. Leave a little space near the eye pin so you can access it later to put your jump ring. Cover the whole box with mud pudge. Once all the mud pudge is dry, you can add a layer of glaze. I made some bigger beans by rolling a piece of clay between my fingers, then making a little dent in the middle with my thumb, then adding a knife pin and baking them for 30 minutes. To color them, I use a toothbrush dipped in acrylic paint. Once the paint is dry, cover your beans with a layer of glaze. There you go! Now you have your own miniature birdie box beans box. Thank you very very much for stopping by. Don't forget to go check out the other three Harry Potter inspired Harry Potter inspired tutorials from Nerdy Crafter, Bittersweet Creation, and Not Chance Creation. All their links are in the description box below. Also, if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel and like and share this tutorial if you're feeling like it. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye! <laughs> Today's collab is super exciting because it's a cool. The links are 